ladies and gentlemen, please welcome one of the hottest young comedians in the country today. I'm telling you, he got my stamp. This cat is hot. Please put your hands together for Cat Williams. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, what a pleasure to be here. Uh, so wonderful to be in Pasadena where it's 138 during the day and 36 at night. A pimp don't know what to wear. I'm in the hotel lobby. I got on a fur coat, some swim trunks, some Timberlands, and an umbrella because I don't know what may happen in this raggedy bitch this evening. I'm just here to remind all minorities that with what's going on in the world today, you have got to be happy by whatever you got in your life right now. That's my message because, because the world is crazy right now. What is gas? $600 a damn gallon right now? All I'm, I don't care how much money you got. Gas is entirely too high. That's all I'm saying. You are not supposed to be at the gas station making life decisions. You just at the pump. Just, Negro, did I eat today? I can't get no half a tank. I got six cigarettes. I can't even do it. They, they done messed up the whole gas station experience. Used to be, if you had $10, $15, you could go to the gas station with confidence. Because you knew you was either going to be full or damn near full. If you had a 20, you ain't even talk to the person at the counter. You just 20 on 11, bitch. <laughs> They done messed up the whole gas station experience. Used to be, if you put $15 in your tank, you had time to bond with your vehicle. You had time to put the nozzle in and set the clicker and look through your car and clean off the dashboard and look through your CDs and run in the store and get some Pringles and a snapper and it'll still be pumping. Now if you put $15 in, you can't even turn around good for that son of a bitch click. As soon as you put it in, just click, click. There ain't no damn gas in that car. The world is a crazy place. That's all I'm saying. I'm living in Hollywood now. I'm finding out most of the thought, stuff I thought was real ain't even real. I met DMX six months ago. This Negro is two inches taller than me. I don't know why I thought he was 6'12 or something. This Negro is my size, and he really be talking like that. We at the restaurant, he, hey, yo, bitch, let me get some water and some lemon. Uh, Negro, why are you hollering? We in a restaurant. I'm out there meeting big time celebrities. I meet Shaquille O'Neal, me and him become friends. Then I find out I can't even be his friend in public because he's just too damn tall. How it look, I'm congratulating you on your game and you got your thing all on my forehead region. I don't even like basketball. Crazy place, because when you start being in Hollywood making some money, then you get rich friends. And you got to be real cool with you, because I got rich friends now. Martin Lawrence is my friend. I go to Martin's house. Martin got a $36 million house. $36 million. Sometimes I just be in the driveway like, look at this ridiculous bullshit. <laughs> house is this for eating and sleeping, Martin. But I be there every chance I get. Because you can do anything in a $36 million house. Whatever I want to do, you want to play pool, it's a pool hall. You want to go hang gliding, he got hang gliding. You want to play basketball, it ain't a basketball court with concrete. He got some soft stuff on it, make a Negro jump accidentally. I'm just in the back. Just... <laughs> you want to watch a movie, he ain't got a plasma TV. He got a theater in his house with real popcorn popping behind glass. And you don't even want no popcorn. You just be like, look at this buttery bush. <laughs> and I be having a ball over Martin's house, forgetting that I got to leave Martin's house and go back to my house. Now I'm at my house all ungrateful. Just, I can't even sleep here. I can't. <laughs> well, I'm gonna watch a movie on the TV, bitch. The world is becoming a crazy place. Used to be, all you had to do was just smoke some weed. But not anymore, because now weed is messed up. I don't know why it's so strong. All I'm saying is, I had to tell all the weed salesmen, 
When I say I want weed, I mean regular weed. I don't want nothing with a nickname, not Thriller, Killer, Salmonella, none of that. Because I am used to smoking weed and getting the munchies. This brother in L.A. sold me some stuff, had me looking at the refrigerator for three hours. I'm just in the kitchen, sitting on the stove. Just... only two type of weed smokers. It's amateurs and it's professionals. And if you are amateur, you don't have no business messing with a professional. I had to learn the hard way. Snoop was doing a TV show. Snoop said, when we take a break, we're going to go to my trailer and hit some weed. I was like, you ain't said nothing with no hit some weed. I ain't say that to him, but I was thinking it. So I'm I'm in the trailer. It's me, Snoop, and two brothers. I watch them roll it, light it, put it in rotation. I know the rules. Puff, puff. I see you've been to a seminar yourself. So, so everything is fine. But about four and three quarter minutes, I start noticing that I am higher than I have ever been my entire life. I don't mean cool high. I'm talking about scary high for high, high, high. The type of high where you looking down at your mama's house and satellites and Jesus, I don't want to be this high. And I'm trying to figure out how I can get this high in four and three quarter minutes. I swear to God, I look up, these Negroes have lit four blunts, and they are all in rotation at the same time. We in that bitch looking like an Olympic ghetto track meet. How high are we trying to beat Snoop? I swear to God, they put the blunts out, went right back on the show like ain't nothing happened. Meanwhile, I'm trying to remember what show I'm on. Just, wait a minute. 10th down, 1032. I am a boy, Damon. I am... I gotta go, I'm gonna see ya.